So in today's video, I do want to speak about Xavi Hernandez and his future because he was talking about how he does feel about his current situation. And then we're also going to be talking about Jurgen Klopp, a coach that recently just said that he is moving away from Liverpool after being at Liverpool for the past 8.5 years. Now, I know that you guys are probably questioning, why would we talk about Jurgen Klopp in this video when this is a Barcelona channel? Well, there has been many people asking whether could we actually see Jurgen Klopp coach Barcelona in the future now knowing that he is going to be leaving Liverpool because many have been upset with the results of Xavi Hernandez and that is why I do want to assess like this whole thing and then also talk about lastly just some future possible replacements that could replace Xavi in the future and so look I want to give everybody some context here on why we're even talking about this, especially with Xavi Hernandez. Barcelona were knocked out of the Copa del Rey quarterfinals on Wednesday. They lost 4-2 to Athletic Club. In La Liga, they are currently in third place. Girona and Real Madrid are taking the top two positions. Barcelona were also humiliated by Real Madrid, which ended 4-1. So we had Athletic Club score four goals against us. Real Madrid score four goals against us. And yet again, we lost another trophy. We lost the Spanish Super Cup and we lost the Copa del Rey. And that is why many people are saying Xavi Hernandez should definitely leave the club. And recently, in the past six to seven hours, Xavi Hernandez did say something about his future during the press conference for the match between Villarreal and FC Barcelona that will be happening in about 14 to 18 hours. And so this is what Xavi said, and I quote, The board tells me to forget about leaving. They are happy with the project, and in fact, with Deco, we are already talking regarding things about next season. We have been talking about my my continuity since August and I'm still here. Then he continues, you miss people when they leave. Look at Busquets, Alba, and Ernesto Valverde. I hope you miss me when I leave. For now, I'm happy here, and I value what I have. Then he continues to say, I have been here for two and a half years now. I have less than more left. Pep Guardiola was here for four years. Luis Enrique was here for three. There will come a point where I will have to leave, rest assured. So this is Xavi Hernandez basically saying, I am unbothered, right, knowing that I'm going to have to leave eventually. I'm not going to be here forever. He is also stating that he's not going to be here for nine to ten years. This is a conversation that we were having a few years ago when we said, okay, Xavi Hernandez will be coming here at Barcelona and he will be our Sir Alex Ferguson. That was the whole conversation. But it is quite it is quite clear, and Xavi Hernandez knows this, that he will not be here forever. He does see himself in the same light of Luis Enrique and Pep Guardiola. And then he also wanted to stress, right, is that he knows that once things are gone, whether it's a certain person or just a certain thing, you're going to end up realizing just how much you actually miss that exact person. Like, for example, when Sergio Busquets left, many people were so happy. Everybody was like, finally, Busquets was a central defensive midfielder that was finished. He was slow. He, he looked sluggish. He, he was not in the same rhythm of, of the other players. And then once Sergio Busquets left, look at, look at where we are at right now. We're missing a pivot. And we only the only thing that we're praying for is like a player like Sergio Busquets. Look at Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba was a left back for us where in his last five seasons at Barcelona, he gave us 53 assists. 53 assists as a left back and now we're here with a left back that can't even complete one cross and we're like wow we, we were so ungrateful for what we had before we did not even realize how good we had it and so Xavi is saying the same thing he's starting to realize that people will look, will look back on him on Xavi and say wow we actually did have it okay with Xavi it was not that bad we're gonna look back right and say Xavi Hernandez was the one that brought us our first league title post Messi era he was the one that brought in all of these youth players players that will be here for a very long time Xavi is currently walking with this team for the next coach to run with the team and I'm talking about whoever that next coach may be can run with a primed Gavi a primed Pedri a primed and better version of Kubarsi or Fort, La Minya Mal, Fermin Lopez, Mikael Faye. It's one hell of a foundation that you can build on top of. Xavi Hernandez is the reason why we're seeing these players today and fully prospering. And so look, I don't know when Xavi Hernandez is going to be leaving. We know that he signed a contract renewal that's going to lead him until 2026, the summer of 2026. But let's just say, for example, that Xavi does end up leaving. He leaves in the summer of 2025, right? I think that he will continue for this summer. And I think that he will have one more transfer window where he can do his plans and his things with, with Deco, 
We'll see. But let's just say, for example, he leaves in the summer of 2025. Maybe we do win one more La Liga. Maybe we win a Copa del Rey and one more Spanish Super Cup. Maybe we don't win the Champions League. And maybe in the summer of 2025, Joan Laporta says, hey, look, thank you, Xavi, for everything that you have given us. You gave us a couple of trophies, but we want to take the next step and we want to find a coach that can bring us the trouble to make us win the Champions League and also La Liga. Let's just say that does end up happening. Who would be those possibilities? Who would be the replacement? And so again, one of the pl not players, one of the coaches that has been talked about a lot recently, and especially with the current news that has been going on, it is Jurgen Klopp. Now we know that Joan Laporta is a huge fan of German coaches. He loves German coaches, and that is the only thing that he was talking about. And we have heard news about when John Laporta was about to become president was that he was looking for a German coach. So he likes Hansi Flick. He likes Jurgen Klopp. He likes Thomas Tuchel. He also likes Nagelsmann, many German coaches. So Jurgen Klopp is leaving Liverpool. And this is what Klopp said. I will leave the club at the end of the season. I will never ever manage a different club in England other than Liverpool. Then he said, there is no club and no country that I will coach next year. So this is Klopp saying, I am not going to coach any Premier League team ever again unless it's Liverpool right so we can scratch all other English English clubs there's no Chelsea no City no nothing Klopp would only go for Liverpool and he also said that in the next season which will be the 2024-2025 season he will not be coaching he will be taking a rest meaning that he will be available in mid 2025 which is why I do say let's just say that Xavi Hernandez does not continue past the summer of 2025 what if Klopp ends up being that option for Joan Laporta on that summer and so look having a coach like Klopp, potentially a coach at FC Barcelona would be almost like a, a dream signing, right? Because this is a coach that has skin in the game. He has won the Champions League. He has won the Premier League the following year after he won the UCO. He won the League Cup and the FA Cup double back in 2022. And he is currently at the top of the Premier League table. So they could win the Premier League this season if everything does go correct. And I think that the players can pull it off now knowing that they know Klopp will be leaving. It's probably like their last run with the coach. So it's going to be an amazing thing to see. But going back to my point, he is a strong candidate. To me, in my opinion, I would be very happy to have Klopp at Barcelona. I think that Joan Laporta would also really like Jurgen Klopp. Now, if you guys are wondering what type of coach is he like what would he bring to fc barcelona i think that he would definitely bring the intensity there was this report that cut that came out like some player named james milner was talking about how Jurgen club likes to have his training sessions and this is what he said i have worked under a lot of managers and coaches in my career and his training sessions are more intense than under anyone else i have known there's never a single session where a player can switch off and just go through the session as if they are on autopilot he's a great manager the best i have played under yes I would say so. So you know how we always say how like our Barcelona players, every time they have like their training sessions, they look so passive. They're just relaxing, laughing, drinking water, whatever, whatever. You're not going to get that with Jurgen Klopp. He is somebody that strictly likes to command his players to say like, look, you cannot relax. You need to be intense. We need to train and we need to train hard. So that's a good thing. I would like to see that at Barcelona. Klopp has also shown to be a coach where he would like to know the player and what is currently going on in his life. Many players have been saying that. They have been saying Klopp does ask ask you some things outside of football like what do you do outside of football well what did he do yesterday so he likes to get very close with the players and again that's a very good thing to hear because that also does give you like some signals right as a coach knowing that oh okay so this this my player here he likes to go out every night could that be a problem? So I do like that. And there's also some tactical stuff. Like for example, Klopp likes to counter press. He does not necessarily like to man mark. He is someone that says, I want my players to mark, right? And to dominate a specific area on the pitch instead of, instead of like man marking every individual player. And I also remember, right? Milner was also talking about how they practice their pressing during the training sessions. And this is what he said. Training is really hard and it's, and it's complicated. When we press as a team, we do it so effectively. We're not running around like a load of headless chickens. It's the result of a very specific game plan that we have been working on for years. So seeing these type of things, right? Hearing how Jurgen Klopp likes to be very intense. He wants pressing monsters. I would love to see that at Barcelona, which is why I want to see Klopp coach Barcelona. Now, here's the thing, right? So there's a very big but. I know that I have been selling like the dream already through this video. I know that you guys are probably like, like, wow, this guy just said yes. Like, yeah, okay, cool. Like he, he green lights Klopp to FC Barcelona. But I do have a but, right? But I think that the fact that Klopp wants physical monsters in any of his teams 
That is what we should expect also at Barcelona, and that would also mean that some players that we currently have at Barcelona might not even make it to the team. And that is something that Klopp and Joan Laporta are going to have to take into consideration. So for example, I can see players like Gavi getting the pass because Gavi is a physical monster. He is someone that likes to press a lot. We know that he would he is he is a, a Klopp type of player. I think that players like Araujo, Kunde would also get the pass because they're physical monsters. Frankie de Jong would also get the pass. Lamine Yamal, of course, because I think that he would be his version of Salah. And then you have Vitor Roque, who I think that is very intense. He likes making those runs, very physical, likes, so, li likes the 1v1 battles. And so there are some players that will get the pass, but there are also players like Pedri that I think would not make it. I know that sounds crazy for me to say. You guys are probably like, this guy is insane. Pedri, really, probably one, one, probably one of the most talented number eights. I don't know if Pedri would make it. It's a very 50-50 thing. And that's also another reason why I would kind of not see Klopp as a Barcelona manager. Like I do see him doing well and I would welcome him, but is it reality? Is it something that could happen like for sure? Like would I give it a 90% chance of it happening? No, I would give it a like 20% chance of it happening. I'm just saying that if it does happen, I would be happy. And that is because I don't see players like Pedri making it to the team. I think that he will say Pedri is a great player, phenomenal player, you know, uh, has all the technique in the world, but I want floating inverts because he brings me the physicality and the intensity that, that I need. Pedri seems like he is all just technique and that's it. And if he tries to give out intensity and, and he tries to give out pressing, he ends up crumbling. He gets injured. I, I can see something like that coming from Klopp. He's also going to be saying, I don't want Ferran Torres. I'll br bring me someone like Julian Alvarez, a player that likes to press from, from the front. And we have seen that at Man City multiple times. He brings more energy. He's also going to be saying, I don't want Joao Felix. I don't want Joao Cancelo. I don't want Fermin Lopez. A player that, yes, has great technique, but who knows if he is, if 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 if, if he goes through through the filter of Jur of Jurgen Klopp because he he's a German manager, a player, a, a player. I keep saying a player, a coach that requires you to be a physical monster, right? Let me give you guys some examples so you guys can kind of understand where I'm going with this. Look at how Coutinho did not make it at Liverpool. He did not make it at Liverpool. He was doing well at Liverpool, but once Jurgen Klopp came, he slowly started to depreciate in terms of importance because Klopp was building a team that that where he wanted physical monsters. Players who were able to come out mentally strong, take the ball away from you, and play extremely fast and take advantage of the spaces that you see in front of you. That is the type of team that Liverpool was, and that is why Coutinho was more than comfortable to go to a team like FC Barcelona, where they welcomed just highly technical players. Klopp was like, okay, if Coutinho leaves, that's fine. You know who we're going to be getting next? Van Dijk. You know who we're also going to be getting next? Alisson. You know who we're also going to be getting? Fabinho. Th those players, when they came to Liverpool, they transformed Liverpool forever and they won the Champions League the next year. And we saw how great that team functioned. We saw how great that team punked Barcelona in the middle of the pitch. You could not get through a team like Liverpool at, at, in, in that year. So Klopp had no problem letting go of, letting go of, uh, of his probably the most technical player that he had on his squad. He let, he let go of Coutinho just like that. He's like, that's fine because that's not my system. And so I'm assuming that if he is hired at Barcelona, he will show the exact same thing again. I just don't know what players would make it or not make it. Maybe Pedri does make it. Maybe he he ends up bench pressing 225 for reps and he gets stronger and then he's like, okay, I, I want to keep Pedri now. I don't know, right? But we have to understand what Klopp would bring and what that would mean for some of these players that we have right now. We can even see right now. Look at Thiago Alcantara at Liverpool. He came in. Yes, he got injured, but you know why he got injured and he continues to get injured? It's because he can't handle the, the type of physicality that he needs to train for and work for during the games, right? Like, Thiago Alcantara did not make it at Liverpool. He had some sort of effects. Yes, when he first came in, everybody was like, he, he's a great player, the perfect number eight. He he. It's now Liverpool have a perfect balance of physicality and, and technical power, but he did not even last long. You cannot last long at a team that is coached by, by, by Jurgen Klopp. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. But, you know, that, that is what we're going to have to expect if he does get hired by Barcelona. That is the reality. And that is also another reason why I do say, like I've said before, I give it like a 12 to like 50%, 15% chance that he ends up coaching Barcelona in the summer of 2020. It's just too big of a drastic change. Now, I don't. Many of you, many of you guys might welcome that. Many, many of you guys might welcome the the drastic change that Barcelona need, and it might work. I don't. I don't I'm not ruling it off, but we'll see, right? So, 
and there's also like some other factors on why I do think that he would not go to Barcelona is like what about the Super League factor? He was very he was uh, very outspoken about the Super League and he was saying that he is against it. He he does not like U- UEFA either. Like he doesn't like either sides, but he did speak against it. And is he going to go to a club where they are the creators of the Super League? I, again, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not I'm not somebody that's coming from the future. I don't know how these coaches are going to be thinking in, in a few months. I don't know how John Laporta is going to be viewing Jurgen Klopp as the coach of Barcelona in a few months. I don't know how Deco is going to be seeing uh, Jurgen Klopp as a replacement for Xavi Hernandez and what that means for the players. I have no idea. I don't work at Barcelona. I'm just going based off the, the information that we have been seeing in the past five to seven years. So now lastly, I do want to end with this. I just want to give you guys like some quick little other replacements that I think have a higher chance of coaching Barcelona besides Jurgen Klopp. One is going to be Mikel from Girona. He is a coach that does have experience in La Liga. Um, He has experience in coaching a Catalan type of team, which is, again, Girona. And he is familiar with the Catalan culture, which is a huge thing for Barcelona and for Deco and Jordan Puerta. And even with, like, without a big budget to sign big names, like, Girona couldn't sign players that were past 30, 40, 50 million euros. He still managed to create a, a really good team, a really good culture, and he is creating a lot of success for himself even without a lot of money. And that is something that maybe Barcelona could be interested in because we don't know where Barcelona is going to be by that time when Xavi does leave. But we know that he is capable to create a team without a lot of finances. Another one is going to be obviously Pep Guardiola. I think that Pep Guardiola, by the summer of 2025, I think that we are seeing the end times of Guardiola and City. And there was like this comment that Guardiola said back in January last year. And this is what he said. If I'm coaching here or any anywhere else or I'm an assistant coach and Barcelona call me, I would go. It's my club. So if John Laporta ends up calling Guardiola and he says, hey, look, let's have a reunion. Let's go for another, another four years. I can see Guardiola coming back. I just don't. It's more more fantasy, you know, like it's hard for me to speak on it because it's just it sounds too good to be true. But I do see it as a higher chance compared to someone like Jurgen Klopp. And lastly, will be Hansi Flick. Hansi Flick is a coach that I admire. There has been no evidence on Hansi Flick, Hansi Flick being linked to Barcelona, but he is without a club. He is someone close to Joan Laporta and he is also another German coach and he brings the intensity I think that, uh, you know, like in, in, in all of his teams, he brings the intensity, especially with Bayern Munich. He, he drove that Bayern Munich team into like a, a powerhouse. And I think that Hansi Flick does welcome more of technical players that does not need to be so fi- like so much of a, f- a physical monster compared to like someone like Jurgen Klopp. You know, I think that he would accept the continuity of Pedri, accept the continuity of Fermin Lopez, accept the continuity of other players. Maybe draw Felix. I don't know. So those are going to be my other replacements besides Jurgen Klopp. That is going to be wrapping up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.